Hello again, it's Falkas with the second part of the tutorial about how to quickly insert preplanned threads and lines during a multiplayer campaign. In the first part, you have seen that we had made backup for the, all our preplanned threads and for our lines there points. Those created files and the files have been transferred to me. I'm just uh, being the client side at this time. And you see here I have the two files on the left hand side. It's the rf.lns file and the rf.pth file. Those are just the backup files for the lines and uh, pre-planned threads. The files are actually very small, just one kilobyte. So and I just want to transfer those to a nice location where Weapon Delivery Planner can find them. Here you see on the right my Weapon Delivery Planner installation directory with the directory called files. I'll just open that up and you find the directory line and I just copy this file there I just move it over the same will do with the PTH line which is actually for the pre-planned threads I'll just drag and drop it there Weapon Delivery is actually able to grab the files from any place on your computer or via a network but just having that those files in those places are just a way of managing the files very nicely. I opened up Weapon Delivery Planner and as a client there is no need to open the mission file, the saved file, uh, if you have it at all. The only thing what we want to do now is insert the thread circles and the lines into the data cartridge. So we go to the data cartridge, just look if quick look if it's the correct file. So it is for me. Here we have the lines, you see the lines are empty, which you happen to have here different lines. Uh, just clear all the lines, the same for the steer points, just clear the steer points and the pre-planned threads before we start. They're all empty and clean, that is very nice. So I'll start off with the uh, pre-planned threads, just press the load button and you see you immediately get to the correct location where you put the backup file and just load the file and you see they have exactly the same list of pre-planned threads. We'll do the same with the lines, load them up, select the correct file and open it up. You'll see here the same coordinates as the previous line. Just an extra note about the gap here. If you noticed in the first movie we only set four points for the flat line and every line has a, a five steer points available, so this is just the fifth steer point that we did not use in the first example. Let's have a look at the map, how that's looking, and actually here you see the tanker track, the float line, and all the thread circles that we had in the first example, part one of the movie. So now we want to get ready to go flying, so in this case because it's a uh, campaign we have to go to the data card part and be ready to start the timer because the timer is used during a uh, campaign or else BMS will overwrite the values from memory and we don't have any thread circles or lines in memory at this time so if we don't do that we won't have any thread circles in the cockpit at all but let's wait for a second here and first go to BMS so I moved back to BMS and joined the campaign online got to the correct flight and joined the flight we discussed everything and we're now ready to fly do note that you will not see any pre-planned threads or lines inside BMS because they're not being stored in memory of Falcon but only in weapon delivery planner we're ready to hit the fly button just note that the time should be very close to the time that the actual loading towards the 3d starts because you have only a three minute window if that's done and you're ready to fly we quickly switch to weapon delivery planner to start the timer I'll top to weapon delivery planner for starting the timer just click timer and just say yes for the timer to start you can have a quick look at uh, the button here change to working six and it's just counting down the time 
so we can now just switch back to Falcon again. Okay, we started the timer on Weapon Delivery Planner, so we now go fly and we go to Taxi in this case, so we immediately start loading. So, just enter the 3D cockpit, 3D worlds, and just have a look at the thread circles if we got them. And look, there's the tanker track, the flood line, and the thread circle, and everything works as it should. Enjoy your flights.